Hi guys, I just wanted to show you all this letter that I'm sending to my MP. Um, I did contact him last year and I just wasn't satisfied with the response that I got from himself and also from DEFRA. So I'm just going to read this letter out to you and I want you all to also send the same letter out, same wording. Um, I want you to, you can email me and I'll send you a copy of this and you can send it directly to your own MP and just change the names and change circumstances, add the people in that you know ill as well. And also don't forget to keep in the bit about the paramedics saying that everybody's suffering from breathing difficulties. Right, so I'm just going to read this to you. Dear Mr. Clapperson, I contacted you last year regarding the aerial spraying occurring in my area. The spraying now seems to be global. Governments may be able to deny stroke ignore chemtrails, however we are all aware of the geoengineering stroke weather modification that is taking place. Now there's a link here to a parliament publication. Make a note of that. Thanks to Reinhard for showing me this. Okay, so in a parliament publication, the regulation of geoengineering science and technology committee. Aerosol injection is mentioned that is that sulfate aerosols be injected into the stratosphere to mimic the cooling effect caused by these super eruptions. Please can you tell me how are these aerosols being injected? We can all see the planes spraying Mr Clapperson. 25th of March was the worst day this year so far. Jet cirrus, that is what NASA are calling these trails being left by these unmarked planes spraying. How can they call them cirrus? Why are jet emissions being named as cloud? Some days there are no real clouds to be seen at all, only jet cirrus, which you can see floating down. Once upon a time jet emissions evaporated. Why is it that not the case today? Why are the, why are the emissions turning into atmospheric cloud? People are suffering from breathing difficulties. The ingredients being used to geoengineer are affecting all of us. Young children are being admitted to casualty because they cannot breathe. They are being sent home with Ventolin, but no one is questioning why they cannot breathe or what is the cause. Many people are also being admitted with pneumonia-type symptoms. Old and young alike are suffering. I received a response from DEFRA last time I contacted you. They said they were not aware of any spraying taking place. What a blatant lie! I am not happy at all with this response especially when it is admitted that geoengineering is taking place. We the people demand answers. We demand that this stop. My niece has been in and out of hospital. She has been rushed to hospital in an ambulance. She could not breathe. Whilst my sister was there with her, there were many more little children being admitted with breathing difficulties. The paramedic who attended my niece said he had, he had noticed that when they had been spraying chemtrails, a lot of people were being admitted with breathing difficulties. It was the fifth child he had had to care for with the same problem. Somebody needs to speak out and somebody needs to stand up and say this is not right. Please could you also look into HARP, the High Frequency Active Aurora Research Programme, as I understand that they need these chemtrails in the air to conduct their experiments. Earth is not a science project. Earth belongs to all of us. Please, Mr. Clapperson, I urge you to really look into this. People are getting together really good evidence. Water, blood, hair and soil samples are being taken. Unusual amounts of metals are being found in blood samples. We have evidence. You have access to statistics from Hertfordshire. Look into the rise of breathing problems and admissions for pneumonia-type symptoms. I await to hear from you. I hope you will research this yourself. I would not like to think that I, as one of your constituents, are more informed as to what is going on in the world than you, an elected Member of Parliament. Yours sincerely, Jackie Noyes. Right, so to everyone who's fighting chemtrails, please contact me. My email address is jamnoise, J-A-M-N-O-I-S-E, at gmail.com. Please contact me and I will send you, I'll forward this letter to you and you can send it to your Member of Parliament. Just obviously change name and location. Thanks a lot people, we fight this together. It's another thing people, please don't email your MP. Um, emails can easily be ignored or not read. So I want you to send a hard copy, a letter to your MP. Because um, letters I find are just, they're, they're harder to ignore. 
So the address is the House of Commons, London, SW1A, OAA. Thank you.